A federal judge today ruling prosecutors have sufficient evidence for a grand jury to consider gun charges against two men arrested last week along with mobile born rapper Nashawn Jones. Jones, who you may know him as Honeycomb Brazy, that's his performer name, scheduled to appear in court next week. U.S. Magistrate Judge Bradley Murray determined that charges can move forward against Mason Fuller and Miguel Hall. Authorities say Fuller was driving an SUV that sheriff's deputies pulled over on I-65 December 18th. They say Jones and Hall were passengers and that investigators recovered two guns. All three of those men are prohibited from having guns. Word on the street. So listen up, man. Honeycomb Brazy made a very big mistake and the driver and the security actually have set him up in these federal gun charges. Now listen up, let me tell you what I said, what I said, right? It's really crazy because when Honeycomb Brazy got to speak up, right? I think that was a post that was made on his page when he got arrested and when they were talking about it, if you all can remember, where Brazy was talking about how the whole situation happened and how his manager hired a fake security, right? Now listen up, man. You all watch that, you all realize that they also say on the security that, you know, they were pleading not guilty in the courtroom. Now, let me tell you how the game goes, right? So, this man knows truly where they, they are felons, right? According to the according to the Honeycomb Brazy manager, you know, he says stuff like when he went to hire these security guys, they say they were qualified and stuff like, like that. They never disclosed their personal life to him. They never told him that they've been arrested before or none of that. You get what I'm saying? Now, I want you all to realize that. Now, it got to a point that after they got arrested and they knew truly where they, it was their fault, right? They were not supposed to be around guns. They were not supposed to do none of that or even they are not even qualified to be the security, right? And they went to the courtroom and they pleaded not guilty, bro. What the F did that tell you all? That's some crazy stuff. Now, this should make so many celebrities to be very careful of their security team or to be very careful of everyone around them because it's really getting real. It's getting real right now because if this man can come out to plead not guilty to a crime that they know they committed, to be able to let Honeycomb Brazy go, that's the most crazy part. Listen up, if they pleaded guilty to the whole claims, right? Um, and they let the judge know that, listen up, man, we are at fault, right? We are just trying to, you know, get get some food and, you know, we are just trying to get paid, right? To feed our family and stuff like that. That was just what we're trying to do. You know, the judge could have let Honeycomb Brazy go. But because they pleaded not guilty, allegedly, the feds took up the case. And you all know, you know, what happens whenever the case gets to the feds, because at this point, man, I think Honeycomb Brazy is going to do some time. You get what I'm saying? He's going to do some time at the end of the day. He can go scot-free. Get what I'm saying? Uh, the feds probably have to give him some kind of punishment, maybe two years or stuff. Less time. They just say less time. You get what I'm saying? Because, you know, less time is more better than, you know, a lot of time. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, but if this man actually pleaded guilty to the charges and to the claims, and they let the, the you know they let the authorities know that they are the ones that fought, right? And the had not, uh, nothing to do about it or nothing to do with it and stuff like that. You know they would have let Brazy go. Now Brazy allegedly has been released on bond, right? We already had that, and the reason why he was released on bond is because you know he never knew that this security team are not supposed to be with all those weapons and stuff like that, and they actually realized and and confirm that the weapons and the, the guns, you know, in any way does not belong to Brazy or anyone that is related to Brazy, just the security, right? Now, the manager went to hire some security team from Texas, knowing truly well that, you know, Texas and guns from Texas shouldn't be around Honeycomb Brazy according to the beef that he's having with Mob Ties. And we realize that Honeycomb Brazy manager is also affiliated with Mob Ties. So, you know, it's really crazy. It's like all crazy stuff at the same time. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, why would you hire security from Texas? Why are you affiliated with the people that Brazy is having beef with? Why is Brazy being set up? You get what I'm saying? Why is he arrested? Why is he going back to jail and stuff like that? It's a lot of questions to ask in this particular situation. 
You get what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of, you know, a lot of crazy and crazy questions to ask, man. And the manager really has a lot to answer. You get what I'm saying? I think that should be a type of punishment for the manager. If he doesn't know, you know, your your mistake and your inability to, to do your research so good, it's making Honeycomb crazy to go back to jail. And that's not good, bro. That's what I gotta say. But you all let me know what you all think. Remember, the video is just for entertainment and educational purposes only, so everything is allegedly. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, so you all get notified whenever I drop a new video. Catch you guys later.